Hello, this is Brett Hill with Office365Training.com. I wanted to do a short video today about using connected accounts with Office 365. In particular, importing Gmail and the mail that you have there into Office 365 using OA. It's really fairly straightforward, but there are a few things you need to learn in order to make it work. First things first is that you need to be logged into your Office 365 account using Outlook Web Access. You cannot create a connected account in Outlook. You have to do this with Outlook Web Access. And you find this feature on the Options tab. When you select Options, you can then select See All Options. When that comes up, you'll have the opportunity to click Connected Accounts and specify an account that you want to connect Outlook Web Access to so that it will pull the external account periodically and read the mail commingling and reading that mail into your existing Office 365 mailbox. So here you can see we have a Connected Accounts tab. I'll click on Connected Accounts and I can click New which will bring up a wizard that lets me complete the connection form. So I'm going to type in the email address of my Gmail account that I want to connect and click Next. Now in this case, the account was connected without any difficulty whatsoever. There were no additional screens to fill out. It immediately starts to go and download the mail. And usually you can start to see mail backfilling uh, pretty quickly. If you have a lot of mail there, it can take a, little, can take a while. And so here I can see the Gmail, Gmail account. Uh, and so as a result of this, my Gmail account is connected to Office 365. All the mail will come over. Now let me show you a situation that occurs pretty regularly as well that's not quite so obvious. If I go back to See All Options and I want to add a connected account, in this case I'm going to add a, a, a different connected account. So let's try another account and see if this one behaves the same way. The reason we're doing this exercise is because I recently ran across a situation where the connected account did not work as expected and I wanted to show you what I discovered. Now this should go out and once again connect to Google. But this time I get that a secured connection couldn't be established. Would I like to try an unsecured connection? And instead of saying yes, which won't work, um, then we'll say no. Now this says if the problem continues you can figure either POP or IMAC connection for your other account. Now, one of the details that's interesting is that in order to do a connected account with Office 365, the Gmail account needs to be enabled for POP. So to do that, you log into your Gmail account and you close any of the advertising and then you enable POP for all mail. Uh, in, in general, uh, this will not be set. In fact, by default, there'll be uh, three options here and none of them will be set until you go in here and set one of them. Evidently uh, though, if you try to do a connected account without setting any POP settings, it automatically turns on POP. So it's normally not an issue, but if someone has disabled POP, then you'll need to come in and turn this on. Now also notice it says when messages are accessed with POP, keep the mail in the mailbox. We're going to leave that as it is. If I go back now to my OWA, so now that POP is selected, we just need to go back and try the process again. And we type in the password. And we say next. And with POP enabled, the system will connect as expected. Done. Now we can go back and look at our mail. And our mail will be commingled with the other mail coming into the Office 365 account. You can, of course, create a rule to sort through your incoming mail to a specific folder. Uh, to do that, do you need to remember a special trick. You create an inbox rule and you click New. And if you take a look at the rules, you'll see select when a message arrives, if it was from, if it was to. But none of these are the ones that you want. Instead, you say select more options. Now you'll have an additional choice and you'll say through this account. And now you're able to select the account that you want to choose, your connected account, to move it to a specific folder um, as you choose. So this is the way you create a OA-based rule to sort your mail before it gets to Outlook into the appropriate folder. An interesting situation arises whenever your Gmail account 
is the same as the custom domain that you want to use for Office 365. In other words, you're going to transfer your Gmail account domain to Office 365. In this case, it's important that you do not validate the domain in Office 365 before you create the connected account. If you do that, the, the connected account process will fail. Set up the connected account and then import the mail from Gmail as you've just seen. Once the mail has been migrated, validate the custom domain in Office 365 and then you can set your users to the new domain. Now this will cause their logins to change. Because you're anticipating the domain name to change, you haven't provisioned the users yet. But now that you've got them set up, you can change the MX record to Office 365 and set up Outlook to connect to the Office 365 account. And whenever, the, whenever Outlook connects to Office 365, all the mail from Gmail will be there. Users can still go back to Gmail at any time if any mail happened to get missed in the handoff. And you, then you can disconnect the connected account. You might want to wait a little while to make sure that the last synchronization occurs. If you aren't comfortable with the connected accounts approach, you can of course just add an account to Outlook and read your mail directly into your Outlook profile. This works great, but it does store your mail locally if you're putting it into a PST. The only disadvantage to that is that if you log into OA, you won't see that mail. Uh, in addition to that, if you have a personal archive in place, that mail won't get moved into your personal archive. This is some considerations to think about whenever you want to transfer a domain from Gmail to Office 365. So that's using connected accounts to import information or import mail from your Gmail account into your Office 365 inbox. The fact that you, when you set up the account, it will read the information from your Google, from your Gmail account on a periodic basis. That mail will be put into your inbox and you can use an inbox rule to sort it through. Remember that you have to have pop enabled on the Gmail account in order for this to work.